רגע, זה מרכוז ידני. כמובן שהצורה הנכונה יותר זה שאתה יושב ואתה מרוכז מול המסך. תחילת המדידה, המכונה מתפקסת על היהלום. כן, פה אנחנו רואים מכל מיני זוויות, מכל מיני... We see the diamond, this is a vision of the diamond from the table. These are the same with inclusions highlighted by the software. And this is taken from various angles, various depths, various lighting conditions. And eventually you create a complete picture of the diamond with a backdrop of the faceting of the diamond. This is one example. This is the other example. Another stone, but the same idea. Taken, you can see a crack here, for example, some, some pickers here and there. Instead of a human looking at the diamond from various angles, maybe the light is not so good, maybe he drink too much coffee, so he's making a mistake. Here, the machine will give him all the parameters for the grade, and he will determine, make the final decision for the, for the grade of the diamond. And like I said, there are other services that graders or certifiers uh, give to the Polish diamond, for example, determine the authenticity of the diamond, etc. So this will help people, not replace people. אני לא רוצה להסתיר לו אותם כל כך As far as I'm concerned, IGI can apply their rules, GIA can apply their rules. Our, our, our philosophy has always been to work with everybody on an equal footing and so on. A machine like this can help, but when you grade a stone, the gemologist has to take in consideration many aspects. For instance, you have inclusions, but you can have white inclusions and black inclusions of the same size. Do you give it the same grade? Not automatically, because black is more visible than white. You can have a, a black inclusion in the middle of the stone. It's more visible than the same black inclusion on the side of the stone. So again, you need the brain of a person to identify what is, more, what is better to see. What do you prefer to see? Then do you prefer one bigger black inclusion or ten small inclusions? All of that are many, many possibilities that I think will take a long, long time for a machine to be able to replace a human being. There was a loss of confidence in, in, in the diamond industry. So we are looking for ways to increase this, uh, this confidence. And one of the things is when you have technology measuring the diamond and giving you unbiased, objective grading of the diamond where you cannot argue and say, okay, 
this is not what, yeah, you, there's no argument that the machine and the technology measure the diamond, this is the grade, and this is it. It's better for the consumer because then he knows this is absolute. There's no argument about, there's no human factor, somebody's fudging the results of, of the measurement.